The thoughts and opinions of this show is that of Drazy and does not coincide with all of Dre's Radio Cafe. Listening discretion is advised. Get on up and bump to this While I keep doing my issue, huh? Yeah, you think I just don't fit? Well, this bitch ain't ready to quit, uh uh Get on up and bump to this While I keep doing my issue, huh? Yeah, you think I just don't fit? Well, this bitch ain't ready to quit, uh uh-uh. Used to love them trap beats, used to love them house freaks Used to crank the D&B, used to make the dancey I'm evolving, not dissolving, words revolving, lyrics holding No control of me, don't agree, evolving with the scene Like a need, reinventing is tempting, not cementing Over venting, like renting, leases ending On what's trending, no brakes, I'm bending Get on up and bump to this while well, I keep doing my issue, huh? Yeah, you think I just don't fit? Well, this bitch ain't ready to quit, uh uh. Get on up and bump to this. While well, I keep doing my issue, huh? Yeah, you think I just don't fit? Well, this bitch ain't ready to quit, uh uh. I try to spread love, not hate. Unlike all these bitches who fake. Empowering all my mates. Supporting all the new grades My passions to share Not to dwindle other flares Don't try to compare Individuals don't care Others mismatch their attitudes Trash I'm like head of the pack My worst sacks Better than their sap tracks Repeat shit Fly their cracks Selfish snobs Fuck that Rappers nowadays Recycle bastards Say taken from the grades Mind that I make The ones I create From my own head space From one way to another Can resonate with others Then I hear my lines But the the voice ain't mine, just fit the time It's a bar theft crime, it's a bar theft crime Get on up and bump to this While I keep doing my issue, huh? Yeah, you think I just don't fit? Well, this bitch ain't ready to quit, nah, uh Get on up and bump to this While I keep doing my issue, huh? Yeah, you think I just don't fit? Well, this bitch ain't ready to quit, nah, uh Listen, I appreciate y'all so very much for tuning in, hanging out with your boy Dre once again in the lounge. Uh, today's a Sunday, so I know it's going to be a little bit different. I am in the chat room, even though this show has been pre-recorded. Listen very carefully. Uh, I have to, uh, I have a part, I have a full-time job, excuse me. So a lot of my shows are pre-recorded and I appreciate everybody for sending in music, submitting music, checking out the shows, being real represented. Um. Uh, Today's show really is basically going to be a combination of two shows that I did in the past couple of days that I don't think anybody had an opportunity to listen to yet because they haven't been posted. But I want to make sure I get this thing done. All right. Uh, actually, I'm going to do one of the shows because I want y'all to listen to the other show on, this, on your own time. Um, my shows are called Weekly Rants. And each week I go through something that I ranted on. And uh, usually about maybe 30 minutes, maybe at the most max. Uh, but it's usually ranting on something different. Uh, this episode today, really, I'm not doing it just for the sake of, because when the episode actually comes out and y'all can listen to the episode yourself, y'all will be more pleasant and enjoy it. Um, this episode here is basically about supporting local artists. All right. The reason I say that is because the past couple of weeks I have been listening to a lot of music and during the time of listening to music and watching shows on YouTube and Facebook and everything else. I've noticed that a lot of people are having problems with getting the support from the local artists themselves. Uh, what they're doing is they're dropping out their music, going on their merry way or whatever. If they pop off, cool. If they don't pop off, then cool. But it's not like that. Uh, I also have some people that's complaining that there's a lot of artists out here that are doing music that are, are strictly going towards one genre or one angle and not going towards other angles. And uh, that's basically what I'll be talking about today. Now, this show... Don't get it misconstrued because this show is just not about the topic that I'm bringing in. Because I'm bringing in a lot of stuff. I'm going to bring it in hot and I'm bringing it in heavy. Uh, But this is actually about supporting local artists. And uh, part of it was based off of a conversation that uh, Kia Rap Princess had about a couple weeks ago that I actually recorded. Forgive me for recording it and putting it out there like that. But I think somebody needs to listen to it. 
And in the process of listening to it, I think it was very important that it's imperative that a lot of people understand just what is going on. I know there's been a lot of stressing, a lot of things going on in the process of, uh, you know, local artist music and not being heard and not being, you know, I did to submit to helping others. But it's got a lot of out of hand with the idea that we do not try our best to support more of our local artists. I am a local I'm a local artist in myself because I do radio shows for local artists, period. I am in the process of trying to bring back the radio station, which gets in about 150,000 listeners every day from all over the world. Well, I'm sorry, a month, 150,000 listeners every month. And that's from the radio itself. OK, so not only is people in the United States listening, you got people over in Japan, people overseas, people on water, all over the place. Um, and I've got plenty of proof of that. But um uh, I'm a local artist in myself because I do a lot of DJ and I do a lot of music. I do a lot of, uh, you know, podcasts. I do a lot of shows. So I'm all over the place when it comes to me. But my thing is, like, I don't see the love everywhere else. Now, I have seen a lot of love from artists that listen to the show and come in and chime in and support. We've got to get more of that in because what happens is a lot of us local artists become more major artists, which means it, in, in a way... If it was me, I don't change for nobody. I'm always going to remain humble to where I stand at. And my stand is with local artists. I'm not about the high life of the money and all that stuff. I'm more about the exposure for my people. And my people is everybody. You know what I'm saying? From MC, from Lyrics MC to uh, Naya Naya to NTK, Noriega the King, uh, Boss Lady, uh, Erica Wesby. Uh, you know, all the way down to Arkansas to my homeboy Double, uh, all the way up to, you know, Dub C's. I mean, it's all over the world. So I'm all for everybody. So this show here is going to be dedicated to that idea. So local artists, be prepared. And, and, you know, listen, if each one teach one, take this out there, spread the love, put the like on the heart. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is monetized by us now. And a lot of us get a little bit of paper from doing this stuff but here's the thing with the paper the paper only goes back to what we do as a business because any money that i get that puts on that gets put onto my on my account goes back to the station whether it's for award shows whether it's for buying somebody's whole album whether it's for exposing something for somebody whatever it is i'm always putting my money back into what i do the investment has to be invested back into so i will be talking about that a little bit too down the line i really don't have um a really well put together show today but i want to make sure that i'm here hitting people right where it needs to be hit at and right now it's about you know open you know the idea of opening up and being more supportive of our locals whether you're in australia whether you're in the states whether you whether you're overseas somewhere else whether you're in the military whatever the case may be if you're doing music for something it's a supportive of artists all right so if you get an opportunity listen let's start off by all out sharing sharing in the lounge uh, if you got an opportunity, share your business, share your uh, links, share all the conversations that you got going on, uh, anything and everything. Jump in the conversation. Say what's up. Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what you're sipping on, too, because that's my main thing. When I do Dre's Radio Cafe, it's about a, a chilling. It's about a chill. The whole idea of the, the cafe idea is different genres of music, different styles, different mixtures, different uh, varieties of things that goes on. And everybody's got their own kind of like style. So every time somebody comes into the cafe, they got something different they're bringing to the table. So that's the idea of the cafe itself. I will get more into that down the line somewhere else. But uh, it's not about this right now. It's about the sharing the love for the local artists. All right. So let's get into the music a little bit. I'm going to get my show all put together. Make sure you all have a good time. If you're in the lounge right now, let me know what you're sipping on. Uh, also, spread your links. Also, say what's up. Also, hit that like button, that heart, whatever you might call it. Uh, and also share because the more people you share with the more opportunities more people will see and come into the rooms uh, I share with a lot of people I share with a group of people then I share with a bunch of other groups that are not just for radio so businesses and stuff of that nature so share share and share like uh, let's have a little bit of fun tonight I got y'all for at least about an hour hour and a half I'm going to let y'all hear this conversation, let y'all hear the show from the last time. And then if y'all want to get involved with the show, I'm going to let y'all know how to get to the show, all right? It's called a Radio Rant, and I do one weekly, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the music. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in Weekly Rants, uh, the prequel. I guess we're going to call it a prequel. And this is on a Sunday, all right? 
So let's go ahead and get into it. You're now rocking with your boy Dre. Let's get into this lounge, chill out, kick it, kick back, and hang out. All right, let's go. I've got you, if you've got me. Shout out to Dre's Radio Cafe for playing my music on the radio, man, my interviews. I appreciate you, man. Let's get it in for the one time. Yeah, Noriega the King, all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, live and direct. Yeah, y'all listen to the smooth styles of T-O-H-P, a.k.a. Noriega the King. I told you I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, the beat, yeah. Yeah, y'all listen to the smooth styles of T.O.H.P., a.k.a. Noriega the King. I told you I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat, yeah. <laughs> Y'all listen to the smooth styles of T.O.H.P., a.k.a. Noriega the King. I told you I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, y'all listen to the smooth stylings of T.O.H.P., a.k.a. Noriega the King. I told you I was coming back with another one. Here we go again. Beat. Yeah. <laughs> That was Noriega the King that was called Ride With Me. Ride With Me. Uh, listen, I'm getting ready to get into this little topic. Let y'all hear this conversation. Let y'all hear my piece. Get back into some more music. I'm going to give y'all part one and the part two. So you'll, just, uh, you'll be able to hear parts of it. Uh, let's do this, all right? Uh, it started off like this. I'm going to give y'all the actual conversation piece that uh, Kia Rap Princess threw out there. And then I'm going to let y'all hear uh, what I thought about the, the conversation piece and stuff of that nature. So uh, real quick, this is one of my rants. This is week two. Y'all didn't even hear week one, but that's because I haven't been able to post it until I post some music actually. So I did the music. I posted it. Now you'll probably be able to hear it in the next couple of days. All right. It's called Radio Rants. This is my second week. This was called uh, No P-Pop. No, it's called uh, No Love for P-Pop, and I believe is what it's called. Uh, but I'm gonna give y'all episode. I'm gonna give y'all part one. All right. Um, uh, this right here. Let me make sure I tell you this right, so I know what I'm sitting here looking at. Um, this rant was called. Uh, it was called. Uh, not just for pee popping. All right. Uh, not just for pee popping. This was week two of my weekly rants. I want y'all to check this out. Let me know what you think. I'm in the chat room. Trust me. So y'all drop your links, drop your uh, opinions, sit and chit chat with me. I'm telling you, I'm gonna go through this. Uh, Monday show is gonna be crazy because I'm gonna put a little bit of this conversation into Monday show in a little segment, and then uh, I'm gonna get back with y'all. All right. So let's go ahead and rock this out. This is my weekly rant number two. This is called "Not Just for Pee Popping." All right. Uh, you're now rocking with your boy Dre. Let's get into it. Let's go. So today's conversation piece and my rant today is is going to be something that i normally do all the time that i that i preach a lot of the time um but it actually hasn't been really expressed to a lot of other people until i heard a conversation piece the past couple days um listen this is a shout out to everybody <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> that does um indie artist music so with that being said, let me go ahead and let you hear the piece before I go ahead and get into it, all right? This is my homegirl, Kia Rap Princess, and she's ranting a little bit today. Check it out. You know what's crazy to me? I've been seeing a lot of DJs, A&Rs, and artists talking about the state of female rappers, right? Talking about female rappers aren't talking about anything. They're not. They're only talking about popping ass and shaking pussy. Like... That's all you niggas is playing. Like, there's plenty of us out here. There's plenty of us who aren't talking about any of that, sir. So many of us. And I no hatred to any other female artist that's doing anything in that that realm, right? But stop the cap. You niggas ain't supporting us. I come in the club as I am. You niggas be overlooking me for the bitch with the the bald ass and the big titties, cause you looking to, you looking for one thing. She up there rapping about goldfish and eating niggas big toes. Nigga, I, how can I compete when that's what you niggas is p- promoting? It's just crazy to me. Then that was her rant. So what my rant is going to be is based off of that. We don't support local artists, not let alone female artists, but local artists. I'm going to today let you listen to a couple female artists, including Kia Rap Princess, who does do music other than pussy popping and shaking ass and titties and all that stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of it was funny because a lot of it was. But the seriousness behind it is, is that we don't support the artists, the female artists, and you got to excuse that noise in the background. It's actually somebody doing uh, weed eating and blowing leaves and stuff in my neighborhood. Uh... I had to figure a way to do this around my timetable. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to let y'all listen to a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to let you hear a song by Kia Rap Princess. And I'm going to let, let also let you hear a little bit of... Uh, let's go with uh, MC Lyris. Uh, I'm going to let y'all hear a little, little MC Lyris also. And come back and chit-chat with y'all just a little bit about the rant that I'm going through today. All right. Uh, with that being said, let's check it out. All right. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in Rant for the Week. Uh, let's get into it. Let's check it out. Let's go. Buck roll. (laughs) 
Somebody cue the Dell Phonics Cause I told these niggas too busy trying to hold my own And I can't hold these niggas I plant the truth in all these songs trying to grow these niggas Then paid the cost to be the boss Man, I don't owe these niggas It's legendary like Vicky on the come up I'm in this booth being great until the sun's up PTSD from all the drama, so don't run up We not violent, but yet and still we got our guts up Hey, you talking that whole thing, you need to cut your tongue up And if you hating on my team, we'll get your funds up You catch me tearing down the stage like put your ones up Whoever doubted, now they know that they done fucked up Hey, we, we got the same 24, I don't know why you mad Is it cause I said fuck the ox, gave it all I had is it cause you see my girl and she hella bad? Is it cause I'm taking off just like a hella bad? Man, I ain't got time for none of these pussies, that's some hella pass. You think I'm ever giving up, you gon' be hella mad. And do I think that I'm the go or maybe just a tag? Get white people greeting me like, yo, you hella rad. I'ma do my thing because I know that you watching And like Ace Ventura, nigga, who gon' stop me? I was born to be a leader, so I know they gon' cop it Drop the EP on the fourth to let them know that it's poppin' And my light shine bright, so I know they can spot me Taking over this year, and I know that it's shocking. It's about to go down, but I'm not young jockin' If you see me on the road, you better know that it's rockin' I'm just tryna be great, and I know it's sound cocky When you see me out in public, be sure to greet me properly You want me to do a show, I need the dough on the dough I got my mojo back and now they know they in trouble with KRP. Yeah. 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 Huh? just those two females i mean i've got a plethora of music that i have that i just display for anybody and everybody to listen on my shows my podcasts and stuff uh you've got the erica westbeach you've got the uh uh miss fabulous you got the nine nias you got the hgs lyricals you've got uh man the list goes on and on and on young promise um uh, man um uh, listen it's so many so many artists that do more than just talk about female artists that just do more than talk about shaking ass and titties and getting money and stuff 
there's so many out there that is so set on different styles, different ways, different things that, that they do. And, you know, I think we get into that, that era of the the uh, nostalgia of looking at people so different. What do I mean by that? Um, if you look at a lot of these artists, a lot of these artists came in on the the the, get, the idea of of hard lyricists. Uh, I don't know if Nicki was set on that platform. Little Kim wasn't set on that platform. Uh, look at Eve. Eve was set on that platform. Uh, Missy Elliott was set on that platform. Uh, our pioneers, MC Light, um, man, Queen Latifah, Moni Love, all these were set up on that platform of not having to be this uh materialistic you know uh standout type person uh now we get into these these ones that like even when cardi b started off with bodak yellow uh she wasn't talking about being this this uh super pop model like thing then you get into these uh situations of like uh ice spice and you know the ones we have now um uh, there's so many of them i can go down a list of them that we just go through and right now we're looking at just bodies and figures and stuff like that. I mean, if you look at it from that angle, I mean, you got something like that. And you got something that start off like Glorilla. Glorilla is one of those that started off hardcore, you know, whatever. And now it's it's turned to that little pop bottle, you know, Barbie type shit. And uh, don't get me wrong. Don't get me mad. And no, you know, because I love the Barbie idea. Uh, not only Cardi, but, you know, Nicki Minaj. And the Minaj is, is like at her best you know what i'm saying and she's one of the, the dynamic people that can actually go versatile on either style but uh like we've gotten to that situation now like if you want to book somebody to the club are you gonna book somebody like uh a queen latifah that ain't talking about doing all this stuff or you gonna pull up with you know like cardi b or somebody we rant on about this stuff all the time but we don't really take it to heart until you have to hear somebody somebody else outside the box really talk about it now when i say that i say that because i preach this when i do my music when i do my shows i'm all about the idea of you know supporting local artists whether it's female male you know in out you know whatever your classification is or how you live your life it's all on you but i do i do specify the idea that listen we are, as a whole, need to be more supportive of who we are. I know Milwaukee, shout out to Milwaukee. Milwaukee's been doing a lot of things in the news, a lot of things in the public eye, a lot of things in terms of music that has so much, so much versatility and so much love down there that you would think that people will be more supportive of what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? And when my girl KRP got on this, on this microphone and she talked that ish, Man, I was very, very, very in tune with the idea of just going back and supporting that because that's what we that's what we're supposed to do. And I, I'm really disappointed in DJs and, and you know promoters and anybody that, that sit back and they overlook this young lady because this lady's a beast when it comes to the microphone. There's more than just her. There's the Miss Fabulous, like I said. There's the uh, the lyrics MCs. Shout out to Australia. Uh, I mean that these people that are doing it and they're making it happen. And the the, the messed up part is like we're really not giving ourselves an opportunity or a shot to to realize just how and just how deep this really is. Because we, as a whole, you know, I've been doing this. I've been doing this this music thing since two thousand and I'm gonna say two thousand and fourteen, going on ten years almost. So 2014, I've been doing radio, I've been doing podcasts, I've been doing shows, I've been supporting local artists for almost 10 years. And it's been way beyond that too because I've, I've done a lot of shows that I have really didn't really talk about, but I will go into depth one day. I'll just go through and do a whole show about me myself, but it goes back too far to say that I haven't been supportive of the art. And I've been a loyal KRP fan. You know, for who knows how long now, because I listen to her music and her music is is more in depth than a lot of other music. I, I'm cool with the listen to every now and then I can listen to a song by, you know, who knows and name any female artist that's right now. Top 10 on pop chart or hip hop chart or whatever chart. And I've listened to it. 
and I'm not messed up with it. But my thing is substance. A lot of the music that I listen to now has to have some kind of substance behind it. It's cool that I listen to the pop your ass, shake your pussy type shit. That, that's cool if you want, if you're into that. But I'm not really every day in that mood of just getting up in the morning and just listening to, you know, every song or something. My playlist is weird. I mean, I'm all over the place when it comes to my playlist. And I don't really get super deep into it. I, I might when it comes to males males are different females are just we don't support that idea it's just like if you look at it from a, a racial standpoint a lot of people don't support the idea of black males being targeted all the time you know what i'm saying it's not that we don't they don't do it like that it's just that we just go through the motions that they don't even hit the idea up on that you know what i'm saying so when i go through and i say that excuse me that's my phone ringing in the background i can't really grab it but when I sit back and I say to myself, like, we as human beings, we have the hardest time supporting one another depending on our genre. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. When I sit back and I say to myself, like, I look at uh, different genres of music. And, and I do. I do that all the time. I look at different genres of music and I say to myself, like, really, like, what are we doing? Because you have... You can have a hundred people, a hundred people here in Nashville, and this is where I, I, I base myself out of. A hundred people in Nashville, and we have so many different artists down this way: the Young Real, uh, myself, Cartel Fam, uh, Starlito, uh, Young Buck, uh, Bubba Sparks is in town. You know, he he lives in the area, but we got all these artists here in town. And the hardest thing I see is trying to support one another to better off everybody. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day when Kwani was around, Kwani did a song called I Represent. Everybody supported that because it was something different out of Nashville. Now, the more that Kwani got his name, he did movies and everything else. And shout out to Kwani Cash. Uh, he did music with a lot of other people. And the, I think after a while when everybody find a new trend they tend to back off the old trend whether the old trend is up to date up to style or anything they back off of that and that's not to me that just throws off the continuity of where you stand at it's just like uh krp krp has been doing a lot of stuff in in milwaukee she did an opening show down there had city girls and all them down there with her man shout out to her i mean she did a very damn good thing and she worked for it she didn't like jump out there and just change her whole image because of somebody you know what i'm saying she's kept her own her old image she remained the same person she's been she hasn't changed anything up she's a, remained you know very true to who she is and i love her music and i love her for that all right you don't change who you are for no reason whatsoever you know what i'm saying i wouldn't see krp any different if she changed her image after she got big you see what i'm saying but my thing is, I like her genuine, just like she is. You look at artists nowadays, and a lot of the artists nowadays, they change their image because, and it's just, I'm just referring to female image. A lot of them change their image because that's what their their publicist or you know somebody else might say, hey, you need to go ahead and do that. Because if you think about it, look at Lotto. Lotto went from uh, Mulatto to Lotto and changed her name several times. But the reason being is publicists changed her image. She was this hardcore little chick back in the day, so so deaf, all that when she was doing the rap game and whatnot. Then as she gets progressed on, she becomes this, you know, big dick energy person. You know what I'm saying? And we weren't I was used to the old lotto compared to the new lotto. You know what I'm saying? Cardi, Bodak Yellow. Now she's, you know, whopping and everything else. And that's that's her because she was that was her image. It works for her. It works for her. She can go either way or. You know, same thing with, with Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj was who she was. Nicki Minaj was thugged, but she was still, you know, the pink Barbie. You know what I'm saying? That, that works for her. But it doesn't work for everybody. You know what I'm saying? What does, if anybody remembers uh, AMG's sister, Boss, shout out to Detroit, um, uh, boss she was gangster she's all gangster she can go out talking about shaking her pussy and 
you know, blowing dicks and all that shit. She was thugged. What would she look like changing her image? If in today's world, what would she look like changing her image? Makes a lot of sense because that's just who she was. You know what I'm saying? You've got artists out there that do what they do. Let me let me get you to some of the newer people. Vero G. Vero G is she's always gonna sing. She I haven't heard her rap, haven't planned on hearing her rap. She's always always been singing. You know, her music stands out for her. Uh Regina Hicks. She's uh pretty miss. You know what I'm saying? Pretty miss. She does what she do. She is who she is. Um, you know, Erica Wesby, she's gutta. You know what I'm saying? Uh Kia Rap Princess. She can be she she lives she lives up to her name. She's rap princess. But she's gutter. You know what I'm saying? She's real gutter. Um uh, man, Miss Fabulous, Miss Fabulous, she sings. She raps. She she is who she is. If they change their image for any formal reason, then it'd be kinda weird. You know what I'm saying? Naya Naya, she lives off her life. All her music is about life and how she feels at that moment. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we go through the motions with these people, never have an issue with who they are. But we choose to stick by people that is the is the trend. And that, that has to stop. We have to be more supportive of our, you know, artists, more supportive of what they do, more supportive of the things that they send messages for. Because a lot of them send positive messages. Listen, I'm getting ready to do a little break real quick and let y'all listen to some more female music that is more you know in tune to us at, or me personally based off this conversation today and this rant by my homegirl kia rap princess all right uh man let's do hgs lyrical and uh man uh let me think of who else i can do i can do miss fabulous i can do uh naya naya uh, we're just going to tune into some. Let's find out who we're going to listen to. And just going through it. And I'm going to come back, chit-chat with y'all. And I'm going to close out the show, all right? But it's based off a of rant, man. You're not rocking with your boy, Dre. We're rant of the week. Let's get into it. Let's go. Ooh,
Enjoying yourselves listening to this because I'm actually putting the music in with it too. Because I know uh, I cut this the music into the mu- the show to put it into the show, so that way you can hear some music in here also. So when we go back to part two, you'll probably hear me talk about the music that you just heard. All right, uh, Miss Fabulous Naya Naya HGS Lyrical, uh, but you're gonna hear the rest of it in just a moment. All right. Uh, I also wanted to get in some brothers in here too because the brothers need to be represented also. This show basically was about basically supporting local artists. So I need to make sure that I got some some topics and some things taken care of in here. So let's go ahead and hit the brothers off a little bit. Hopefully you enjoy yourselves. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up. Also put in your opinions. You got to excuse somebody out here with that car alarm going off. Uh, It's not mine. So anyway, but uh, Let's just go ahead and get back into the music. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. This right here is the brothers. Let's get them in. Randy Hitch, uh, a.k.a. Double. Let's go. Trust me, for sure you got 
loving you has been the fees Touching the depths of your soul, the hardest message to reach You seem to take my breath away just by hearing you speak Just like how I reciprocate when I place you on my knees Yeah, we make it hard to breathe All this love we got between us, why you wanting to leave? Shit, them niggas did it, why you punishing me? How long before you see that you're the air that I need? From your lips to your ass How long we gon' keep on with the games of a child How long I gotta tiptoe like it's eggs on the town How long you gon' keep dancing around my words like a dancer Not much longer will I make such efforts getting no answers Love is just a little game we play My love is eternal when we throw away You tell me you love it but you're so afraid Well I'm feeling unworthy of love anyway We both get feeling like love was a phase Finding a way back to love was a maze Only want you to forsake my ways But honestly I was here trust been delayed Promise to love you for all of my days But you're concerned about extra shade Taking me solely will pay with the ways Nothing fixed with your lips the African brain always talking down like the air is a praise. How long will you come with my name in the tray? Yeah, really. Why well, keep saying I love you? Knowing to you was just words. I mean, I talk to, but I can't see you. This water keeps my business blurred. I refuse to let you see my tears. If the eyes are the portal to the soul, and I refuse to let you see my fears. See, love is the one shouldn't be this hard, but I understand. Past hurting lies from those little boys kept you running from a real man. <laughs> so I don't push the issue. I just wait on your trust. But you can't tell me I don't love you because this shit is way beyond just lust. <laughs> See, that's why I don't mind doing anything you please. From fulfilling your fantasies to being your protector and everything in between. Truth is, I'll always be there for you whenever you need me. But as far as love, either trust mine or let me free. Damn, love got a hold on me. <laughs> But look, for how long? Smiles when 
Six the numbers my way took and got a fresh whip, a new apartment. But things kind of changed in the sales department. Had more than enough juice and weed and stock. But slowly but surely, folks was leaning on a rock. I couldn't believe the extent they went through to get it. We're talking ass cash and household appliances. All I paid for was my bedroom set, doc. Couch, TV, stereo, love seat, all around a rock. A brother said, you killing your people faster than slow. I said, do you condemn the drunk or the liquor store on a butt? I remember way back in the day, sir. I was just another brother getting paper. Thought the fun times would never stop, Lord. Until I sold to an undercover cop. They've been watching for a minute and informing snitched. All it needed was a sale to make the prosecution stick. Family came to court. There were so many tears. The judge gave me big bend for 30 long years. So now I'm in and things are making sense Some brothers came a missing from the block Now I know where they went A flashback to a movie back in the day About the capture of a brother named Kunta Ken Taste Some brothers recognized me I said, hey, they said, what it do? I said, not so good They said, yeah, nigga, they got you too Walk with the brothers, walk with no fear Give the Latinos their space White boys the niggas up in here They might let you off on good behavior Just remember, stick with your own And don't accept or do no favors See, life in the world is a big game They tell you there's no racism Them all men are created the same That live behind the wall and peep the new sound You looking out of place, niggas mucking you up and down And when they step to you, <laughs> you better not flinch You might not work at juries, but you could catch a 12 inch From darkness to light, follow me You never see a faith healer in a hospital Or a psychic win the lottery Everybody got suggestions for me and you We say Satan's a liar, but we don't question the truth We only expect it to be true, cause the media said it Well, if Satan's a liar, hell, somebody got to spread it Bet it didn't take long for it to come after you A slice of the devil's pie, a sip of the bitch's brew Now you and I and me behind these walls of concrete All the POWs of this war on the street War just ain't hell, it's reality The brothers that got killed along the way were well, those were the casualties Mr. Reagan put a war on drugs, something he should But drugs were supplied and sold strictly in the hood Mr. Clinton, who had most of the black race food Signed into law that damn three strike rule See, these are the things you should be telling me Remember powder coke, misdemeanor, crack cocaine felony Now let me See, you got caught up on the rock, right? Well, now you got a label for the rest of your life. And unless you know somebody hiring in high places, welcome to the wonderful world of minimum wages. Ten years to go, Lord knows I hate to see them. Five years in advance, God bless with my freedom. Yes, my feet can hit the street, now I can finally breathe. But there's a few things I want and some things I need, like a good job. The question is, I'm able. Everybody got a cell phone, everybody got cable. Too old to hit the corner hustling like a young fighter. Close as I've been to a computer is a a damn type of writers. I'm fucked! Left the halfway house, went around the old way. Half the brothers locked up, got families dead or gay. The old red zone I used to hustle under. Doing the same damn thing, except the faces got younger. About to go through an obstacle course we all been through. And unless we speak up, the struggle will continue. But just like way back in the day, sir. Brothers trying to get that real fast paper. Doing what they gotta do to get paid. Selling weed, growing purple haze. What the daytime was hot and the evening was cool. Money came so fast they didn't know what to do At the end of the day they had a knot in their hand Give baby mama some money, made them feel like a man
hope y'all still enjoying yourselves listening to the show. Uh, this episode really is a Sunday. I normally don't do shows on Sundays, but I am at work and I did tell everybody I would do a pre recorded show. I would do a live show on Saturday. I didn't do a live show on Saturday. Figured I'd do a show on Sunday. So I'm in here and I'm chilling. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking back to all the local support that we've been doing for artists for the time being. Uh, I know Dre's Radio Cafe has been around since 2014. Uh, and I know it's been a little bit longer than that. Probably been a little bit longer than 2014, but I've been going on almost a full decade of, uh, supporting local artists. So I've been in it deep. Um, uh, not to mention been to several, been to the award show, got my own award show this year. Uh, we'll be doing voting on that. I will be giving out awards. Uh, all I ask is that, uh, y'all give me the information. I can send y'all off y'all's award. All right. Uh, let me see what else have been going on with me. Uh, just supporting the art. That's basically what this, is, this episode is about. Supporting local artists. The more we get into it, the more we don't realize. Like we support local artists to a T. Um, I'm going to get back into this, the rest of this episode. So y'all can hear what the rest of the episode was about. But uh, it was basically uh, about. Part of it was about. L- let me take you back just a little bit. I'm sorry about this. Uh, the whole episode that I'm doing today is based off of supporting local artists, but I did a show a couple weeks ago called Radio Rants, and one of my radio rants was about Kia Rap Princess expressing that there was females in the game that were not getting the recognition they were doing because every female rapper or female artist is usually talking about pee popping and sucking toes and all that stuff. Well, I was trying to express that there's more than just, uh, female artists that do that stuff and i was going down a list of them and i named off a bunch of people i played a lot of their music that day um so i'm going back into it and i'm gonna finish the conversation off with the rest of my show y'all more than welcome to go into uh radio rants and look that up down the line i will put that uh link somewhere in the descriptions i also will uh give you an opportunity to go listen to them uh, episodes the first episode i did was called uh cover and concealment i think it was called uh yeah concealment in character i'm sorry concealment in character this episode was called um uh not just for pee popping uh yeah not just for pee popping i believe is what it was um it was called uh yeah not just for pee popping uh and it was featured by uh actual conversation with uh kia rap princess i'm gonna let y'all get back into this Finish it off, come back. I'm getting ready to head out the show. Uh, I got a couple more songs I want to get to y'all. Uh, a couple groups, things of that nature. And then we're going to head out the show, all right? So, uh, any questions, any conversation, anything y'all want to talk about, y'all feel free to hit me up. If y'all want me to do a rant about something, feel free to hit me up in the conversation piece, too, in the chat room. Let me know what you're sipping on, hanging out, chilling. You're in the lounge with your boy, Dre. This is Sunday night. Let's get back into this episode. Let's go. Listen. That was HGS Lyricals called Two Clutch. Um, man, I'll let y'all hear that night and night and not in the mood. And I'll start y'all off with uh, uh, Pain by uh, Miss Fabulous. Uh, shout out to everybody, anybody listening. This is my rant for the week. Uh, based off of Kira Rap Princess saying that uh, she don't feel like uh, that DJs and anybody give them the, the proper respect in terms of their music because they're too busy trying to get the... the sexy more prettier well not really prettier just the more sexy individuals in terms of their music and styles and stuff talking about shaking ass and popping pussy and stuff like that and a lot of women don't always do that now a lot of them do but a lot of them don't but i think a lot of it is based off the image and idea of our generation and our uh just social media i mean social media has us so clutched in everything we do that we have to apply ourselves to being something totally different that we aren't all right um It's just crazy how we look at things like that. Uh, Real talk, though, I really do hope that we can all bond together down the line and start supporting more of our local artists, whether female or male, whether they talk about, you know, popping ass, shaking titties, or if we talk about, you know, the more sincere things in life like voting, uh, you know, homelessness, depression, uh, you know, just anything other than what we're always in the norm for, because history repeats itself. There was a time when, you know, MC Light and Moni Love and, you know, Queen Latifah, all of them were talking and preaching about the idea of, you know, women first and all this stuff. And then we got to the point where now a lot of women don't even care about the equality part in there because they're too busy trying to get their uh, their bags on however they can get it 
from the idea of their sexuality. And I think that's part of a problem, man. Part of a problem with uh, just music individually. Um, it's not going to be... I'm always going to be an avid listener of all music, all genres, all styles. So I will continue to support all the people that I've been supporting before. doesn't change anything of that. I just pray and hope that these individuals that are putting out this music now continue to be the same person they are down the line and don't change because that's what made you who you are. The, the struggle is more better going through the process of understanding how far you've gotten and where you're going than you going through the motions and just making it easy for yourself. You know, it, it's so much more than what you think of it is. And I, I commend all the Kia Rap Princess, the Naya Nayas, the Erica Wesby's, the uh, Miss Fabulous, the MC Lyrics, the HGS Lyrical, uh, I mean, Lyrics MCs, HGS Lyricals. Um, man, the list goes on and on and on. Don't let it be an individual thing. Let it be a together thing. Us, there's brothers, us as brothers also out here in this music industry world, we need to be more support, supportive of our women in every aspect, not just shaking ass and titties and, and, you know, whatever the case may be. But just as an individual ourselves, we should be more supportive of our women. Help raise them up. Help build them. Their character builds our character. And I can let that go on, but it will actually go to the end of the show. So if y'all want to hear the whole show itself in its entirety, uh, go and check out uh, Radio Rants. I put out a weekly Radio Rant. I've already did two. One was called uh, Concealing Carrier, uh, Concealing Character, and then the other one that I recently just did was called Not Just for Pee Popping. All right. Uh, so I've got them two out the way. I'm gonna give y'all a little more music. I'm gonna hit y'all off with. Uh, let's go with. Uh, Let's go with difficult. I'm going to do difficult for y'all. I'm going to hit y'all with that. Um, let's see. I'm going to hit y'all with difficult. I'm going to hit y'all with uh, hard to die. I'm going to hit y'all with. Uh, no, nah, let's do this. I'm going to do difficult, hard to die, and my infatuation by my homeboy, Larry D. Edwards. Rest in peace, my brother. Uh, I'm going to hit y'all with those three tracks. Come back, chit chat with y'all a little more. And uh, make this show last out about, about an hour and a half. So that way I can give y'all a little bit of uh, content and music. And. Uh, let y'all know what's going on for the next week, all right? So you're not rocking with your boy Dre in the lounge Sunday night. Let's get into these tracks. Let's go. And here I am, sitting on your doorstep like a criminal. Things are physical, fuck, it's all emotional. Why it's so damn difficult? And I know that times get tough and I feel this time is for real I know that you feel How I feel and I feel like This is all unreal Sometimes you feel like your time notch Until you hit the deck face first with a stopwatch The love turns to lust when it comes to a gun cock to Tell me that you're leaving when you know you are unblocked And here I am Sitting on your doorstep like a criminal Things are physical, fuck it's so emotional Why so damn difficult? And here I am Sitting on your doorstep like a criminal Things are physical, fuck it's so emotional Why so damn difficult? Physical, fuck it's 
Sitting on your doorstep like a criminal Things are physical Fuck, it's so emotional Why are you so damn difficult? Dream 
by your seven fair It's so enticing, girl, I declare The way you look when you smile When you smile As my heart racing a thousand miles The way you speak with such a peace Put my mind in a place that's so serene. You are beauty and it's natural peace. My future, my queen, my destiny. Cause you're my infatuation. My infatuation. My infatuation. My infatuation. My infatuation. My infatuation, my infatuation, my infatuation. It could be so nice to share a glass of wine. You can meet me at a place called the Copper Mine. We can have dinner, just us two. Just us two. Talk possibilities between me and you. Don't be scared, I'm not the one you had in the past no, no, no. Just want to show you a love that will last I've searched for someone like you, high and low Don't run into the same game, the usual you know You and I can be as we I hope you can take me I can't believe my eyes My heart is beating crazy like I think I'm hypnotized She's the one, I can feel it, I can tell it Sipping on the Cosmo, looking so angelic I don't care about a current status, I'ma make a mind Show why I'm the type of man to stand the test of time Thinking to myself as I move toward the bar She came with a clown, but she's leaving with a star I knew it when she looked at me, I had it with hello Gave her backstage passes to my next show since I met her, I ain't thought about it. I'm infatuated. What's this a feeling, dog? Damn, I think I love her. Woo! My infatuation. Rest in peace, my brother, Mr. Larry D. Edwards. Uh, shout out to Larry D.'s family uh, in my prayer still. Uh, I will be um, trying to get in touch with his family about trying to do a remix of one of his songs. Uh, I will talk more about that later on, man. I just really wanted to get this episode squared and locked in and locked away and let everybody know that I'm still doing my thing. I'm still out here. I'm still grinding, still hustling, still trying to make them in so I can do these shows. All right. Uh, listen, if you don't get the opportunity to listen to my show, listen to Boss Ladies Radio presented by Boss Ladies Inc. Shout out to Boss Lady. Shout out to Cycle to Urgent. Send me some new stuff. Uh, Dub Sack. Shout out to, uh, let me see. Um, Brother Rob the Poor Brown, shout out to Noriega the King, Naya Naya, uh, V Mayo be in the building, uh, shout out to uh, Erica Wesby, uh, Miss Fabulous, Boss Lady, the Disky Diane, um, shout out to 414 Dank, shout out to uh, uh, Double Trouble, shout out to uh, Naya Naya, shout out to uh, Dub Seeds, shout out to uh, anybody and everybody that's listening. If I missed your name, I'm so sorry. Uh, Lyrics MC, um, let me go down a list of people. I know I know a lot of people. I can just go down a list. Uh, Kia Rap Princess, oh, my family, 
up Kentucky, my Kentucky family, all my boys at Black Law Rebel Music. Uh, shout out to my family here, my cartel fam. Shout out to um, everybody over at Hundred Proof. Um, man, uh, sheesh. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. Shout out to uh, the strange one. All them over in Texas, man. Shout out to Texas. Uh, so I'm all over the place, man. I thank y'all so very much for tuning in and listening. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. I'm going to give you a couple. I'm going to give you a drop real quick from my homeboy, the strange one. I'm going to hit y'all with that. Uh, let's see what I can hit y'all with. Uh, bitches, uh, bitches ain't shit by my homeboy Rambo. I'm going to hit y'all with that. I'm going to hit y'all with uh, Come Through. Hit y'all with that. I'm going to hit y'all with uh, doing our thing. Hit y'all with those three. Come back and chit-chat with y'all for a few minutes, all right? And then I'm going to get ready to close out the show, all right? You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the lounge on a Sunday. Let's get into it. Let's go. This is Thunder. And this is the strange one. And we right here relaxing at Dre's Radio Cafe, the most coolest place to be. Y'all check us out at Austin, Texas. Strange indeed. I already know it though. Bro. Fuck up thing about it, she don't think I know. Really? Fuck off on a nigga everywhere she go. Steady. Used to call her by her name, now I call her hoe. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Uh -huh. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Yeah, yeah. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Uh -huh. Bitches ain't shit, bitches ain't shit. Bitch, you lie a whole lot. You know what? Get up out my spot. Go ahead. Go on, fuck another nigga. Bitch. Bet I won't get hot. No. These bitches ain't lawyer. True. Better ask Chris Brown. Ask him. Bitch, serve me dinner. Steaks. She had just fucked around. Ain't wearing no cape. Why? These bitches ain't straight. No. Last bitch I tried to say. What happened? It was way too late. Too late. Get up out her face. Damn. Invading her space. Damn. That's the shit she used to tell me. For real? Had to put her in a place. For sure. But the head was a bomb though. It was. Used to call her Vietnam, though. No. Yeah. She was slim at the waistline. Uh -huh. With her ass like a rhino. Damn. She done fucked my best friend. Damn, I could've fucked her sister. I she was crying to me about her, right nigga. Up. I should've fucked her sister. Fell in love with a free coat. She was easy like a free throw. Easy. Trying to play me like a housewife. Yeah. Whole time was a street hoe. Street then I learned from the bullshit. Hell yeah, I'm a G now. Big if they broke when I first meet them, I don't put them on their feet now. She a freak, I already know it, though. Bro. Fuck up thing about it, she don't think I know. Really? Fuck off on a nigga everywhere she go. Steady. Used to call her by her name, now I call her hoe. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Uh -huh. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Yeah, yeah. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Uh -huh. Bitches ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit She ain't gon' never have shit Cause she a motherfucking hoe Knowing damn well, man I knew that hoe was gon' go In the first place She ain't no baby mama, damn She was a motherfucking Maury With another nigga Didn't know who the baby daddy was In the first place Knowing that she was a nasty Trifling ass hoe Old nagging ass hoe Every day of the week Looking stanky, looking like it Every day of the week I buy her clothes, I pay her bills Knowing that I wanna chill. Rumbo had to get this money. Rumbo, man, I kept it real. From day one to the end. Now you wanna be a hoe? Oh, nagging that hoe. Nag, nagging that hoe. She a freak, I already know it though. Bro. Fuck up thing about it, she don't think I know. Really? Fuck off on a nigga everywhere she go. Steady. Used to call her by her name, now I call her hoe. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Uh -huh. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Yeah, yeah. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Uh -huh. Bitches ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit. She got so we just need some blunts. Come through, let me eat it like some lunch. Come through, you can blow it like some rucks. Love that ass, but man, she do too much. Backstroke in the water, Michael Phelps. Freaky bitch, like that belt around her neck. Run up in her like I'm running up a check. You knew to this, now you fucking with a vet. When I flex, got that voodoo like a hex. 
I'm a boss, suck that dick with some respect Bustin' like a ticket, be so wet I never get you up like my connect She hit the drink, get the feeling like she like Shit ain't right, all we do is fucking fight You my type, can we do it? Yeah, we might Airplane, bathroom, that pussy tight Backstroke in a water, Michael Phelps Freaky bitch like that belt around her neck Bustin' like a tech, it be so wet I never get you up like my connect Say she got the weed, just need some blunts Come through, let me eat it like some lunch Come through, you can blow it like some runs Love that ass, but can she do too much? Say she got the weed, just need some blunts Come through, let me eat it like some lunch Come through, you can blow it like some runs Love that ass, but man, she do too much Brothers got 
that was just doing our thing that was uh black law rebel music uh dope fresh to don uh imperial real real supreme Ra, lamando carter shout out to all of all my brothers over there doing it the black law rebel music um i am getting ready to get up out of here i hope that this show has educated us in some sense of the fashion of uh supporting local artists uh, trying to give back, whether it's through donations, whether it's through trying to help out, whether it's through uh, sending things in. Um, listen, I think I'm going to have a silent auction. So if I can get something from everybody to silent auction off, I would really appreciate it. Uh, whether it be uh, whether it be a beat, if somebody gives me a beat, I can auction that off. Whether it's a gift of, you know, gift card from a restaurant or, you know, whether it is a uh, whatever it may be. Something that the show purposes somebody else would probably have. Sign an auction. I'm going to do that. Uh, if not, I'm just going to go into the idea of doing my show. Uh, not doing my show, but uh, doing the award show like I do the award show. Because I am going, like I said, all this is coming out of my pocket. So it's not a big deal to me. But I want to make sure that everybody has some kind of effort or put an effort to it. Or try to at least try to, uh, you know, pass the word off, man. Because it's not just about me. It's about everybody. And these awards are not going to me. They're going to somebody else that deserves it. Uh, so I will be doing an award show that being said I mean it is what it is so I thank y'all so very much for tuning in like I said y'all y'all welcome to voice your opinion give me comments you know whatever the case may be if y'all don't think it's a good idea to do the award show or it might be too good of an idea to do the award show or if somebody wants to help me because it's going to be a visual and I'm trying my best to get some people in the in the actual room so I can get them to do part of a show like sing or rap or something. So I will be co- uh, collabing with some people in terms of that nature. But uh, anyway, I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I thank y'all so very much for tuning in. I appreciate y'all for uh, chiming in with me. A new show tomorrow. I guarantee y'all that. Y'all want to tune in for that one. Got a lot of new things I'll be putting together. Um, this one here is just a uh, a tie filler for me. It's a sh- another show, yet another show, but it is a tie filler for me because I didn't do a show this week. I had a lot of things going on. I had a lot of things planning up. I got a daughter that's getting ready to start, you know, first grade. I'm dealing with that. I got kids that's getting ready to go to college. I'm dealing with that. I've got work that I'm dealing with because I do a full time job. I mean, I've got a lot on my plate right now, and I'm still doing the music because that's very important to me. Not to mention, I'm still working on the album. So shout out to all those that are willing to help me with that project. Uh, shout out to Double. Shout out to. Uh, uh miss fabulous shout out to norway the king shout out to uh uh lyrics mc who offered to help me uh anybody else that wants to help me just feel free to send me an email send it to drezey21 on yahoo.com text me 615-540-3998 that's 615-540-3998 um all appreciation is done you know through god and i appreciate y'all very very much myself and uh hopefully this project will be amazing all right i thank y'all thank y'all uh other than that i'm getting ready to get up out of here uh, put God first, protect, provide, spread, spread that love, and get that money. All right. Until next show, I'm gonna show y'all ways to reach me, and I'm gonna close y'all out with uh, we doing shit. All right, Young Promise. All right. Until then, which is tomorrow, we'll be back in the hangout again. All right, lounge, chilling, kicking back. Until that show, I'm out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed yourself. Peace. Ways to reach me. D R E Z E Y two one at yahoo.com. That's D R E Z E Y two one at yahoo.com. You can also call six one five five four zero three nine nine eight. That's six one five five four zero three nine nine eight. If I do not answer, feel free to leave me a message or send me a text message. I will get them as soon as possible and I will return your message. All right. Uh, also, you can check out the website www.dresradiocafe. That's www.dres. R A D I O C A F E dot com. All right. Uh, man, so many ways to reach me. Hit me up whenever you get the opportunity. That's Dre's Radio Cafe. What you sipping on? Let's get into it. Let's go. What's good? It's your girl, Lana Lay, and you are now tuned into Dre's Radio Cafe. Keep the hits coming. A. Hey. I got my juice back. Juice back. Got me screaming. screaming. What's up with it, girl? Girl, girl. Yeah. R.I.P. the juice world. Juice world. Fish scale, fish scale, yeah, yeah.
hit the town, hit the city with me, little bitch. Salute to all my hoes who love to work the night shift. Get with a boss, man. I do it really big. It's big money first, then we get a little lit. Count it up, make it bounce. If you with it, then I give a fuck about who they assume it is. If you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit. If you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit. I let you talk your trash, I know you like my ass. Let's go and up your game, make sure you come with class. I'm on my Tom Brady, I'm known to blaze the grass. You said you don't do sports, I made you run it back. Your man don't see you right, that shit just makes me mad. I got a question for you, how fucking fun is that? Let's check the numbers, baby, let, let, let's do the math. That man ain't true, my heart is blue, plus I make you laugh. You Go grind hard, come home and kiss me I'll run your bath You ain't got a dream when we a team That shit is fast You can be my Cuban link Girl, I'll be your 50 Play your role like you supposed And treat me like you with me, yeah, yeah Hit the town, hit the city with me, little bitch Salute to all my hoes who love to work the night shift Get with a boss, babe I do it really big It's big money first, then we get a little lit Count it up, make it bounce If you with it, then I give a fuck about Who they assume it is if you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit If you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit I called you little bitch, I know you like that shit Moody's hoes, if you wanna try me ludicrous They out here lagging, but I can't, I'm too scrupulous You love it and they hate it, that's my ruthlessness Trying to share my brain, baby, I don't like that stupid shit We both know making money, yeah, yeah It makes stupid sense, nice eyes, thick thighs Swear it was your luminance, girl right out the movie biz Try to hit your line, just reply We doing shit, we doing shit Count it up, make it bounce If you with it then I give a fuck about who they assume it is If you doing me, I'm doing you We doing shit, yeah We doing shit, he so new to this Let's keep him pissed All that lazy shit, it's so humorous My sex is Superman, super swish I'll get you wet, get you hotter Hotter than a doobie hit That booty big, and I like to lick The moon is high, and so am I I help you rise, he make you cry When I say let's ride, you don't decline I'm doing you, you doing me, we doing time It's forever on Keith, never sweat Merlot dark purple on a jet I'm a captain or cadet, we so happy they upset Plus we so connected, we're connected either net You buzzing cause we fucking, who fucking you the best We doing shit, a sexy ass duet, don't forget, don't forget I got my juice back, juice back. got me screaming, screaming, screaming What's up with it girl, girl, girl Yeah, R.I.P. the juice world, juice world Hit the town, hit the city with me, little bitch. Salute to all my hoes who love to work the night shift. Get with a boss, babe. I do it really big. It's big money first, then we get a little lit. Count it up, make it bounce. If you with it, then I give a fuck about who they assume it is. If you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit. If you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit. Count it up, make it bounce. If you with it, then I give a fuck about who they assume it is. If you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit. If you doing me, I'm doing you, we doing shit.